Dear viewers, today in carbohydrates, we will study synthesis of carbohydrates. In this, we will study Kilani Fischer synthesis. In this, we will study how to convert aldotetrose into aldopentose and aldopentose into aldohexose. And next section, we will study the vowel degradation. In this, we will study how we can convert aldohexose into aldopentose and aldopentose into aldotetrose means how we can do chain shortening okay so this is part 4 of carbohydrates so this is part 4 of carbohydrates if you want to see the video of part 1 to part 3 i have given the link of that videos in the description box of this video so in this first we will study chain lengthening process so in this we will study kilyani fisher synthesis in 1886, Heinrich Kiliani, he observed that when he treated aldose with hydrogen cyanide, he was getting pair of stereoisomeric cyanohydrins. So this is aldehyde. When he treated with hydrogen cyanide, he was getting pair of stereoisomeric cyanohydrins. Building on Kiliani observation, Emil Fischer, what he did? He performed multi-step synthesis for conversion of cyano group into aldehyde group. So this is your cyanohydrin which was synthesized by Kiliani. Now Emil Fischer what he did, he convert this cyano group into aldehyde group and he performed this synthesis in multi-step. So what was the net result of this reaction? You can see you started with this aldehyde. You can see here it is one carbon. Now after Kiliani Fischer synthesis you can see there is two carbon. So this is chain lengthening process means by this weight method you can convert aldotetrose into aldopentose and aldopentose into aldohexose. So what was the drawback of this reaction? The drawback of this reaction was you can see here multi-step synthesis was performed. So when advancement happened for this reaction, this reaction was converted into one step. And in that case, we used this hydrogenation process in presence of palladium and barium sulfate. This is also called poisoned gas catalyst. So first cyano will convert into imine group, amine group, which when react with water will give you aldehyde. So this was the advancement of the Kiliani Fischer synthesis. So I will again repeat here the conversion of cyano into aldehyde by Fischer take place in multiple step but in advanced method you can perform in single step by using this poisoned catalyst. So this is complete modern version of Kiliani Fischer synthesis. So here you can see D arabinose and here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it, this is aldopentose. When you treat it with hydrogen cyanide and perform hydrogenation in presence of palladium and barium sulfate and further you treat it with water, it will give you D glucose and D mannose. So you can see here one carbon extended. So now it is aldohexose and you are getting pair of stereoisomers. From d arabinose you are getting two products, D-glucose and d manose So this is the mechanism of kiliani fischer synthesis. So first is nucleophilic attack by cyanide ion. So when you will take D-glyceraldehyde, and treat it with potassium cyanide in presence of water, nucleophilic attack of cyanide group will happen on this carbon, carbonyl carbon. And you will get your mixture of compounds, a pair of stereoisomers or you can say diastereomers. So here you can see a new chiral center is generated. So when you treat this mixture of compound with palladium and barium sulfate and perform hydrogenation you will get your imines product okay so this is two diastereomeric imines product you are getting here when you treat it with water you are getting d erythrose and d threos so from d glyceraldehyde you are getting 
डी इरिथ्रोज एंड डी थ्रियोज बाय किलानी फिशर सेंटेंसेस सो यूजिंग दिस अप्रोच यू कैन मेक ऑल दिस कार्बोहाइड्रेट सो व्हेन यू स्टार्ट विद डी ग्लिसरल डिहाइड यू विल गेट डी इरिथ्रोज एंड डी थ्रियोज when you perform kilyani fischer synthesis on d erythrose you will get d ribose and d arabinose and further when you perform same reaction you will get d allose d aldose d glucose and d manose from d thrios you will get d xylose and d lysose and further when you perform kilyani fischer synthesis on d xylose and d lysose you will get d glucose D idose, D galactose, and D allose. So, guys, this is the way to convert small chain compound into big chain. Means aldo triose to tetrose, aldo tetrose to pentose, and aldo pentose to aldo hexose. So, next is chain shortening, the whole degradation process. In this, you have to shorten the chain length. so you are converting aldohexose to aldopentose pentose to tetrose tetrose to triose so what kind of reaction you will perform here so you have to convert aldehyde back into nitrile and nitrile removal will give you aldehyde which will be one carbon less from its starting material so in this reaction you will treat aldehyde with hydroxylamine and it will give you oxime formation and when you perform dehydration of this oxime it will give you this nitrile compound treatment with strong base to this cyanohydrin compound will help in removal of hcn and removal of hcn will give you this aldehyde compound which is one carbon less so here you can see the complete reaction of chain shortening process so when you treat d glucose with hydroxylamine it will give you oxime so this is double bond noh so noh attack on this carbonyl and you are getting oxime further treatment with acetic anhydride will perform the dehydration of this oxime and it will give you this nitrile and treatment with base will remove this hydrogen and give you your aldehyde back so you are getting d arabinose from d glucose and d arabinose is one carbon less compared to d glucose when you compare this reaction with kilyani fischer synthesis in kilyani fischer synthesis you were getting two product from one starting material but here in wolf degradation process you are getting only one product from one starting material so this is the difference between two reaction one is chain shortening and one is only single product are formed in wolf degradation process so thank you guys for watching this video and i hope you understand these two reactions if there is any query you can ask me on comment section thank you for watching the video